Hello. You're watching a Deloitte Budget 2015 videocast. I'm Sally Jones, and I'm joined today by Ian Stewart, Deloitte's Chief Economist. Hello, Ian. The Chancellor made much of the fact that Britain is walking tall again. Are we walking tall? We're doing a lot better than seemed likely about 12 months ago. The UK has had really quite a decent recovery. Um, growth, as economists would say, have surprised on the upside. And actually, over the next five years, I think it's quite likely that the UK will be one of the faster growing major economies in the world. So certainly I think the economic backdrop for this budget is, is quite positive. And do you think that 2.5% GDP growth this year is going to be achievable? I think the Office of Budget Responsibility have actually been quite cautious. They've been caught out in recent years by being too optimistic. Actually, on average, the market expects growth to be a little bit faster than is being forecast by the OBR. So I think, if anything, we may find that growth comes in rather stronger than expected in today's budget. And the other figure that he made quite a big deal of was inflation, which is going to be as low as 0.2%. Is it healthy for inflation to fall that low? Not if it's sustained. And I think that the key element in this forecast is an expectation, which certainly I share and I think is widely held in the markets, that this will be a temporary period of very low inflation. And what that will do is give a big boost to consumer spending power, real consumer incomes, and that will help sustain consumer spending. So I assume that what we're seeing is the effect of very low commodity, in particular oil prices on inflation. Next year we'll see inflation bounce back. And of course, one of the advantages of low inflation is a reduced interest payments on government guilds, one of three windfalls he announced. He's using his windfalls to pay down the national debt. Is that the best thing to do with these windfalls? There are lots of different opinions. I don't think there's an economic answer to that question. I think the point that he makes about repairing the public finances and ensuring that we have kind of insurance to deal with future crises is absolutely right. And I think there's an important point around the politics too. Generally, it's easier to cut public expenditure in the early years of a parliament, as indeed he's announced today, rather than the latter years. So I think it's quite sensible to maintain the pace um, in terms of deficit reduction over the coming years. And the Chancellor suggested that there was another £30 billion of spending cuts still to come. How's he going to achieve that? Well, the bulk of it's going to come from cutting um, departmental expenditure. We shouldn't forget that despite the fact that the Chancellor has eased up somewhat on austerity, that very big cuts in public expenditure have to take place over the next three years. Um, actually, more severe than the cuts that have taken place in recent years. So there's a lot of austerity still to come. Um, I think what will make it slightly better or easier is the fact it will be taking place against a backdrop of an economy that is probably growing and incomes that are rising. Ian Stewart, thank you very much. Thank you. And thank you to you for watching. Goodbye.